Libra. Happy September. I hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, I think the reading is great. I do. But I have, it's weird because uh, I think, okay. I think you're in the middle of something, right? You have a few messages here, but one is real disturbing because I think a family member or uh, more so a father figure or a, a, a uh, someone who, it may be a friend that is a, a more like a, you know, like a mentor, like a father figure like that, um, something like that, someone you may have counted on before someone really backstabs you here and I don't use that word or I don't even get it often right but I think it's a I think they really betray you in some regard here I think you're trying to do something your message also was um, to uh, and I there's people in here so let's go through it I think I think I think someone who you really care about like a family member I think I can't even imagine that, but but I think someone in your family really uh, stabs you in your back. So anyhow, I think you're trying to do something, and they may not be. You know, when we do things, sometimes people aren't. Uh, we upset the apple cart. Um, but I've never felt it to this degree, which is very sad. So anyhow, here is the energy coming in. It's the two of wands. Okay. See the two of wands, one's in the front and he's reaching for the other one. See one is right by the pillar. I'm sorry, I had too much coffee. There you go. See the treasure? That's you. Your value is in that box. So be sure that what you're reaching for is worthy of you. See the bird? Listen to your instincts. Listen to your messages. Trust your intuition. Oh, oh and looky here. We have the priestess. Intuition. Common sense. Trust yourself. Okay, that was no mistake. Okay. Your other message, which was nicer. Um, accept the indifference in people. People don't always need to be the same. Um, it's the indifferences in us, right, that make us step out of our box. It makes other people. Uh, it just, it's, it's nice, right? It's like, it's like you need different ingredients to make a cake example right where I'm going with this is don't think don't be so stuck in your ways that you're not open to it's the differences in us in our relationships within reason obviously right um, I'm never saying bend your deal breakers that's a no-no that gets you into really big trouble but I'm saying that you you got to have it's the differences that make the the, the relationships great right and the really great relationships are people that do things differently. You know, uh, they pull us up, they anchor us, uh, they hold the gate while we need to, to, to learn something. You know, it's, it's those relationships that have staying power. They get messy and they're dirty and they're, but they're, they're not going anywhere is where I'm going with that, right? So I think someone may disappoint you in something here um, but anyhow we'll get to that we come in with the the king of coins okay we have the ten of swords and that's funny because we we not funny haha -ha. we got this card and it is it's never ever for me ever been a literal like someone really stabbing you in the back that was what was so weird. I never got that, and I never really got that in a message, you know? So, but we have the Ten of Wands, too. So we've got two tens. Two tens speak of a wedding. 
they speak of uh, a coming together. They're, you're at that, like this, the two of wands is a bold choice, right? It's, it's, it's say you lived your life for everyone else, right? Which Libra does and never took yourself into account. Now you really want to do something and no one's happy for you, right? It's something like that. Or, or the people that you, you, you thought you could count on are, are not happy for you, right? It's something like that. The 10 of wands is, is, it's a lot of responsibility. It's pushing really hard for something. It's, it's, it's a lot. The 10 of swords and the 10 of wands, those are to have those together. That's tough. That's tough energy that you're in, right? But you've also got the king of coins up there. He's someone who knows his value. He's someone that knows the value of value, right? He's someone that is rooted in who he is. Um, he's very kind and in here, in here. He can be ruthless too, but he's very kind, um, charitable, uh, grounded, he knows the value of help. He knows the value of, um, it's just, it's a great, it's a great archetype if it's not a person, right? It could be either or. Um, now your advice here is the king of cups and the six of coins. The king of cups is normally very emotional he's whole. He doesn't get caught up in drama. He doesn't get swayed by the things that go on around him. You've also got the six of coins, right? Which is a card of balance, right? Um, being careful as to also where you're um, putting your finances. The five of coins can sometimes come up as, you know, uh, expenses we didn't count for, or it's a, a lean month, right? After we get through that, we get to the six. So we've got our footing back now. We can, uh, you know, even after a long financial struggle, we can at least now take care of our basic needs, food, clothing, shelter, right? So be very careful as to who is asking you for money, right? Um, your advice here with the king of, of cups, he's very archetype wise. It's someone who is very um, kind, again, compassionate, um, would be like a mentor. Okay. He would be like a mentor. He's someone who is very, um, he usually comes up as like the Lord of love, like the, like he would be like the, the great partner they say he is, right? I don't always agree with that. Let's see where he goes in here. So you've got two kings, right? Um, one uh, is receptive, one is grounded, right? So, and in the outbound for added fun, we've now got the queen of wands, right? Who is also someone who is very divinely connected, is a great friend, is a great partner, very, um, she knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. Um, she will help people. She's very divinely connected. She teaches people what she knows so that they can sustain things for themselves. She'd also be a great mentor. She'd, um, she's our hostess with the mostest, right? She brings out the best in people. She would show people different avenues, how to get there. She would be a life coach. She would be you know, she, she's helping, she helps people. She, she does, right? And, and I think that this is a journey for you, okay? I think that sometimes we don't need to, it, it just, I think you're gonna go through some changes now and I think some people are gonna disappoint you really disappoint you, like stab you in your back, like you, like they say they were helping you and then they turn out to really be what has been sabotaging you. Maybe, maybe you're going somewhere or you're trying to get another job or you're trying to move or you, like you say, two tens can be a marriage. It can be a wedding. It can be something like that. But your energy coming in here 
was really telling you to, to, to know your own value, make the bold choices for yourself. This card usually comes up too when someone uh, really wants to do something for themselves or they wanted something different for their lives, but but they end up staying in a, in, in a like they become a, a if the family owned like a lawyer or like it, they would be they would follow in the footsteps you know of that and they never really live their life right they, they live their life for everyone else but themselves when this card comes up it's, it's like I'm making a bold choice right now and I'm gonna think long and hard about what's gonna be good for my future it's a card of travel um, it's a card of, of just really reaching for the things that are important to you right know the people that you know if two tens is a is a wedding here make sure that it's I, I feel strongly though that this is not your partner I don't think if you're in a relationship I don't feel it's your partner I feel it's this is this is a family member and I think it's a I think it's a father figure so if it's not your actual father it's someone who You know, the King of, of Cups could come up as like the a mentor type of person, right? It could be someone like that. But your advice with that card is to be very discerning, right? This isn't just about giving money. It's about giving your time, your energy. But you notice how in this card, one person is getting more than the other so really ask yourself you know are you feeding the right wolf right or are you repeatedly the giver and you're not getting anything in return right so there you go I think that this is a family issue that's not thrilled that you're doing something and but the thing is I haven't felt this kind of really literal backstabbing like someone really has been sabotaging something you've been trying to do which is horrible so anyhow the good stuff now um, aside from this what I feel happens here um, I think that the other spin for the for those of you that this is not happening to or you know what this is what you're trying to do and someone's trying to sabotage it anyway you can be so successful in here if you are thinking to move, if you're starting a business, if you're changing a job, if you're doing anything, right? The Ten of Swords, flipping the switch. The Ten of Swords is a card of the stairway to heaven. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to round the bush anymore. I'm not going to think this way anymore. I'm going to accept the fact that, you know what? I played a part in sabotaging my life. Right? I've held myself back. I've lived in, you know, means and standards way below my what I can can do, but but I've settled. And I'm acknowledging now the part that I played in that. And I'm stepping it up, okay? And I'm gonna carry the weight and I'm gonna push through, even though this is a lot. I'm gonna keep going because I want more. Okay. I know I'm dramatic, but I'm driving it home. Now, this is again. It can be you not being swayed by, you notice he's like in the middle of the water there, but he's on cement. He's not being, he's not, his wine's not even moving, right? So he doesn't get caught up in things that go on around you, right? He knows exactly where to put his mind, his energy, right? Where to direct his, his finances. With the King of Cups, sometimes when it comes up and it's in the, the advice part here, something may come across your path like like finding out that someone's been doing this to you um, pay it no mind pay it no mind and keep your focus where it needs to be this may shock you it may come out of left field it you may be like wow I am I can't even believe it right I thought you were my family or friend or whatever but but I think sometimes when we're when something really has a stronghold on us but we're wanting to go another way Sometimes we need to have this stark realization that, wow, and that's like the, that's like the, you, it, it, it's happening for a reason because probably without it, you wouldn't have gotten over this hump, right? So there you go. Because the outbound card here is 
being divinely connected and doing what you know you need to do for yourself. This is a this is a card of, of an archetype of, of just there's power in this, there's strength in this, there's protection in this, there's divine protection in this, right? And it's it's again it's that power to push through and do something, okay? Because whatever it is that you're trying to do right now, I'm telling you, be it a job, anything, this doesn't just bring success and whatever success is to you, it brings fame. It brings like, and we're not talking just monetary. We're talking your life literally gets, like you look back at this and you can't even imagine that this was what you settled for for so long. That's why I think sometimes when we're trying to really get to something, these things need to be like the, the tidal wave that, that, that pushes us forward. Otherwise, we won't get out of the gate. And when it's something as significant as this, the universe comes in and they, they hold no punches. They're going to give you something that's going to have staying power and, and get you over the hump. Because what awaits you is a life that you can't even imagine. I'm telling you right now, I, I I know this will happen. I know this will happen. I'm not God, of course. I'm not the universe, but but I wouldn't be given this information if it wasn't. And I don't know why I'm so pushing at you, but but I am, and I I feel the need to do that. I also feel something on my chest. So um, this this may be this, right? Or, or it may be you. You know. Either way. Do this. Do this, do this, do this. Because this is like, yes, you'll have financial gain. Yes, you'll you'll have financial gain, like to the masses, right? But this is more about, this is like, I don't know what to say. It's huge. It's huge. Don't, don't pass this by. This opportunity, I assure you, I don't think you'll see again. I really don't. I know we're not supposed to miss opportunities, but I think that this, this is too perfect of an alignment. To be um, something's really probably going to hit you like a rock or a, what do they say like a it hit you like a, br a brick or something um, just know that there's a reason for this the universe always has your back sometimes we just need this nail in the coffin I guess right so to speak to just get you over the hump and there's no looking back after that so there you go this is a good read. It is a positive read. It's just going to pack a punch. But where you go is the universe has been aligning this for you. This doesn't just line up. And now, now is the time. Okay, so there you go, Libra. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Okay, thank you so much.